that clock. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Mm -hmm. So you started with Michi, and then we got cut off. Hi. Um, Michi. Michi. I step onto I the path. Onto I step onto the path. Step. Step. So step was which country was it? Up for me. I so stepped on her. Mitsi something for me. Mitsi off me. Hi, Mitsi off for me. No, you're right. Oh, oh, it's only got it off. Hi. Why would be very dramatic Michi. here? Oh. Mm -hmm. That's so, the first part. In here, we're just going to use to, because for here, since it isn't a relative clause, there's no reason to be in past tense. In general, everything in Japanese, the tense of the sentence is decided by the last verb of the sentence. Um, and there's specific particles that, I mean, conjunctions that do allow past tense. To isn't one of those. So I'd be fumuto. Fumuto. So I slipped and... Oh, I, well, stepped, I path, stepped onto and... the path. And is this to? Mm. What happened after I to, stepped onto I... the path? I slipped. Uh, subetta. Subetta. Perfect. Yep, subetta. Subetta. Perfect. So I stepped onto the path and then I slipped. <laughs> Since this is in past tense, this sentence is all good because it happened in the past and it's always was what happened. I stepped into the path, and then immediately afterwards, I slipped. That's what that would uh, mean. If this was future mm. tense, the sentence would start being like, hmm, I don't know if every time you walk on the path that you're going to slip on it. That seems suspicious. Is there a banana peel? Is it an oil path? Must be like a very slippery mm. path, if that's true. It, it would it would be like the 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 arrow path in um the Pokemon games. You slip on it, you always go. You're always gonna slip on those. Anyway, so subedu does mean to slip, but it also means to slide. That's uh both meaning slip slide, like a slip and slide. I mean, that could be subedu. <laughs> um, so theoretically, this could be um right after I step on the path, I slide or slip. Uh, both of those work. Um. Sweet. This can also be used for realizing information. Like you do this and immediately afterwards, this piece of information shows up in your brain. So you'll see that a lot with miruto. You'll see this a lot in Japanese, where it basically means I, I look at something and the next thing will describe what you saw. Because right when you looked at it, this was the immediate consequences. That's exactly what you'd see if you're in this location looking there. This is what you'd see 100% kind of idea. Mm. Um. Anyway, this was that dusk word that started with you. you know what it ended with? You got that. Hi, you got that. Perfect. So over here we have our sentence from the book, and this toll right here I would kind of describe as the realization toll. So immediately after he does that, he realizes the next piece of information. Though so you could translate this as this has happened in the past. If anybody was in the same situation doing what I did, they would also notice this. But since it ends with yaskata, like this is like a factual piece of information versus like um an action, it feels more like he realized it. So the verb ending kind of helps you know what the sentence is meaning. Anyway, so let's go read this sentence. えっと、一たたみの。たたみ。お、道を。はだしで。踏むと。と、夕方に。うん、降った雨のせいで。滑る、滑る。の、滑り、滑りやすかった。so we got our first clause over here. Ichi tatami no michi o hadashi de fumu. So, fumu fell de hadashi. So, fell barefoot. O 
Uh, you know what subeto so, means? So subeto. What does subeto mean? Subeto is just like. Hi. Uh, just so like, what does fumbo mean? Oh, to fall. So you're thinking oh, about no, fudu. fudu. That's fudu. Fudu is to fall. Mm -hmm. Fumu is to step on. So mm -hmm. here is fall. Step. Here is step. Mm -hmm. Fumu is to step. Hi. So to step barefoot or the path. To step barefoot on the path. What kind of path are they stepping tadami. barefoot on? Ni ichi tadami. Is it a Which wooden was? path? Um, a muddy path? What kind of path is he stepping on? A uh, very stone path? Yes, a stone path. Paved stone path. So what happens immediately once he steps on to this path? Yinka. Oh, the other way. Sibiri yaskata. Sibiri yaskata. So he slipped easily. Or it could be that. He slipped easily. It could be easy, easily slippable. In this case, I believe it's more like the slide. So it was easy to slide on, referring to the path as the topic of the sentence. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I stepped on this path, I came to the realization that it was easy to slide on. Why do we think this path was so easy to slide on? Oh, the end. So, no say. I mean, no say that it's the rain's fault. So, so. You got Which rain? The... It's right. You got the leaf stuck. So, the evening stuck. Futa is to fall, I think. Futa so, is to fall. Evening fell. fell. Oh, it fell in the evening. Okay. Hi, exactly. Well, in the evening. Um. Anyway, so as a random timeline thing, let's say Yugata was like at nine eight p.m. So at eight p.m., rain fell. Is it currently raining right now? No. Correct. It is not raining. So whatever time it is, somewhere between this time, it is no longer raining. But it did rain earlier in the rain evening. So. Fun thing to know. Um, I'm gonna exit out here for one second. See how long this is. Um, I think that's a little long. So I think we're gonna switch. Um, things for our last couple of minutes to do Hi, a there. refresher. Um, I'm going to see if I can find it. This will be a refresher from the beginning of the book. See this guy. So you slide show. Um, do you know what Sudi means? Sudi. Sudi <clears throat> is not the. It's not Correct. magician. Hi. So it has to be pickpocket. Exactly, it's pickpocket. What does this sentence mean? Kon wa otoko no koda. Kon is a boy. Hi, hi, hi. Um, you read the sentence for me. Otoko no ko ko otoko no ko wa sui da. What does that mean? Otoko no ko wa sui da. Otokonoko. So, Tokonoko is boy, or right. ko is child. Yes. So, male boy, child. <laughs> boy, a male child. Wa sirida. So, the child is a thief. Uh, close. Suri was pickpocket. Suri, the boy is a pickpocket. Ah. Do you know what ore means? Ore is. Me or so, just so. I? I me I mine. What does Oriwa Suri mean? I'm a pickpocketer. Hi, hi, hi. I'm a pickpocketer. So if you want to say I am a thief, what's the 
first word we want to grab from here? Kore. Hi, hi, hi. And what's next? Kore wa. So. Wa. Dobo, dorobo. Hi. Ore wa dorobo da. Um, do you recognize this kanji? It ends with jutsu. Majitsu? Hi, majitsu no jutsu. Perfect. Ma. What has been missing from ma? Do you know? Ma. Uh, little area right over here we're missing. I'll skip that for you. Mm -hmm. You know what kawaii means? Kawaii means cute. Hi, hi, cute. So, yep, kawaii is an adjective. How would you say the cute thief and the cute pickpocket are magicians? Mm. The, queen, the cute thief mm. and the cute pickpocket. <laughs> so, kawaii no uh, dorobo. So, kawaii dorobo. is an adjective. No dorobo. So, you don't use no there because it's an adjective, right? So, kawaii. Right. Already has our glue right there. Dorobo no kawaii? Uh, kawaii is an adjective. Uh, so, kawaii dorobo. Hi, kawaii dorobo. Kawaii dorobo. And the cute pickpocket. So, the to can be in the end. Kawaii Hi. dorobo, kawaii. Suri. In this case, we'd want to have a subject particle here. So, to goes with suri and the cute pickpocket. But before that, we have the sentence, the cute thief is a magician, basically. So because of that, you want to have a particle right here. What particle do you think we should put here for our subject marker? Wa. Hi, wa. And what's next? Kawaii dorobo wa? Kawaii dorobo wa. Then, kawaii sori to suri to. Hi. To. Perfect. The cute thief and the cute pickpockets. So to goes with the and the cute pickpocket. So this could be rearranged as kawaii tsuri to. So rather than having that here, it could go over here. These two sentences are the same in Japanese. Mm. Um, Can you read this sentence for me? It's been a while since you saw this verb, so I'll give you that guy's reading. Kawaii tsuri. Dorobo wa niteru. 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 This is to be similar. To be similar. So the cute pickpocket and the thief are similar. Perfect. So theoretically, if you're translating that into English, it would actually, oops, it would actually be the thief and the cute pickpocket like theoretically because of how english works with sentence structure but it really doesn't matter <laughs> not not really mm -hmm. but that that's how those um particle differences do you know what subayai means subayaku. well here's subayai. just subayai the adjective but you're correct it does turn into subayaku it is swift so so swift so in Japanese, any adjective that ends with E can turn into an adverb by getting that E and replacing it with ku. So kawaii is cute and kawaii ku is cute li. So in English, we add li to convey this kind of meaning. So subayai turns into subayaku. What does subayaku mean? Subayaku is... Swiftly. So, so, swiftly. Perfect. How would you say I will swiftly move in Japanese? I will swiftly move. Hi. I will swiftly move. So, I will swiftly move. Yep. I swiftly move. So, tsubuyaku iku? So let's see. So your choices for verbs is nusumu, ugokasu, or ugoku.
What verb do you think it's going to be? <clears throat> Is it going to be nisimu? Nisimu. Don't think so. You're correct. It's not nisimu. So Subiyaku now. makes more sense. <laughs> Subiyaku to mutter. Uh, so we have ugokasu and ugoku. So both of these verbs in English would mean to move. The difference is that ugoku is to move oneself. Like I move. And ugokasu is I move something. So here it would uh, just ugoku would be good. Ugoku. Ore wa sibayaku ugoku. I will swiftly move. Because this kind of insinuates you're moving yourself in English. But it could mean I will swiftly move the couch or something like that. In which case... Ugokasu would have been better. Hi, but yeah, Subayaku mm. can definitely go there. Could Subayaku go in a different location? Um, yes. Hi, can go correct. Ahead. You could have started with Subayaku. Subayaku, ore wa ugoku. This is because Subayaku is an adverb, so it means it jumps over everything to hit the first verb. So it says, you're not a verb. I don't care mm. about you. So it can go anywhere before the verb. As long as it doesn't go past like another verb, so that's how those like boundaries work. So this guy's like going to describe the the verb that is closest in the right direction. I don't know. Is this the right? Mm -hmm. Closest that way is what it's going to modify. So it could go anywhere going this way, as long as there's not any other verbs in the way. Do you know what a madoseki is? Madoseki is magic stone. Hi, hi. Magic stone. Mm -hmm. How about nani? Nani is what? Perfect. How about nani ka? That is something. Perfect. What does ugoku moon mean? Ugoku. Ugoku is... Ugoku is move. Hi. So, is it will ugoku move, moon. moved, or moving? It's not will move. Ugoku. I think it's... Mm. Ukoku. Probably moving. Ukoku. No, it's not. It's will move. It is will move. Hi. Will move. Future tense. Yep, because most verbs in dictionary mm. form are in future tense. So moved would be ugoita, right? With the ita. And moving would be ugoite iru, right? We do that. Te iru for that. Mm. Hi. Um, what does oriwa ugoite iru mean? Uh, I'm moving. Perfect. And that is where we're going to stop for the day.